solve problem on balancing of several masses rotating in different planes by analytical method given question a shaft carries four masses a b c and d of magnitude 200 kg 300 kg 400 kg and 200 kg respectively and revolving at radius 80 mm 70 mm 60 mm and 80 mm in planes measured from a at 300 mm 400 mm and 700 mm the angles between the cranks measured anti clockwise are a to b 45 b to c 70 degree and c to d 120 degree the balancing masses are to be in planes x and y distance between planes a and x is 100 mm between x and y is 400 mm and between y and d is 200 mm if balancing masses revolve at radius of 100 mm find their magnitude and angular positions in this question four masses are rotating in planes a b c and d two balancing masses are provided and which are rotating in planes x and y about the same shaft let us first decide the sequence of these planes with the help of given data so here the axial distance in between the different planes is mentioned now if we compare this then the minimum distance is given in between a and x and that is equal to 100 mm so we will say that we have to show here in the in the form of meter so i will say that here is a and here is x and distance in meter is 0.1 meter now in between a and b is 300 mm so in between a and b it is 300 because the next small number is 300 so here it is y and d is given so we will first decide from a so a and b is 300 so here if we write here b then here remaining is 0.2 so distance between x and b is 0.2 meter now a and c is 400 so in between x and y it is 400 mm that is also mentioned now a and c is 400 so here is 0.2 plus 0.1 that is 0.3 so here at 0.1 here is the plane c now in between x and y is 400 so here is 0.2 plus 0.1 that is 0.3 so here at 0.1 here is the plane y now a and d it is 700 so if we compare this 1 plus 2 that is 3 4 5 so here the remaining is So that is zero point two. So here is the plane D. Now, if we observe in between x and y, here total distance is four hundred millimeter, or we can say zero point four meter. And in between a and b, it is so three hundred millimeter. A and c, we will cross check. A and c, it is four hundred, and a and d, so this total distance is seven hundred. That is zero point seven. So two plus one, that is three, four, five, six, seven. so this is the sequence so as per this sequence we will mention here the planes that is the first column a then x b c y and d now we will move to the angle theta so here theta angle theta of b with respect to a is mentioned in the question so we will assume that theta a is equal to 0 so this is our assumption assume theta a is equal to 0 so i will show here this angle for a then angle for b so with respect to a it is given 45 degree so here this is the angle for b now angle in between b and c is given 70 degree so from b it is 70 degree that means we have to show here the angle for c so this is 70 degree this is 45 degree but in question we have to mention the total angle from a that is 70 plus 45 that is uh, here we have to mention here 115 degree now for the d it is mentioned that is in between this c and d it is mentioned that is 120 degree so here again we have to show this that is this is the angle for d that is one after c it is 120 degree 
So again we have to mention this total angle. Now we will fill up this table from the given data. Now for this plane A mass is mentioned 200 for plane X for balancing mass is not provided and we have to find out this mx then the balancing mass of y is not given so we have to find out my so these two terms that we have to find out now the radius of rotation for each mass balancing mass as well as these four masses is mentioned and we have to mention this in meter in terms of meter then angle theta so for a it is 0 degree for b it is 45 degree for c 45 plus 70 that is 115 degree and for the D it is 115 plus 120 that is 235. Now for X it is not mentioned so we have to find out theta X and we have to also find out theta Y. Now force. So centrifugal force is M R omega square but omega that is the angular velocity is constant for all these masses. So we will consider here F is equal to M into R. So we have to multiply these two columns. So here 0 0.1 mx and here 0 0.1 my. And these two terms we have to find out. Now we will find out horizontal component as well as vertical component. So for horizontal component f cos theta. So f 16 cos 0. Then here 0 0.1 mx cos of theta x. So here we have to multiply this a 21 cos of 45, 24 cos of 115 and here 0.1 my cos of theta y. And here also we have to find out the term. Now fv, m sin theta. So fv is f that is 16 into sin of 0. Now in the same way uh, fv is equal to f into sin of theta x that is 0.1 mx sin of theta x. Now here also we have to multiply this instead of cos we have to take sin then here 0 0.1 my sin of theta y. Now we will move next that is the distance of the different planes from the reference plane. Now how to decide the reference plane so if we observe these terms then the value for the plane x are unknown that is mx theta x then the value for plane y is also unknown my and theta y so we have two options to decide the reference plane so we will consider here x as a reference plane and we have to mention in this way that is reference plane we will decide this x so this diagram is for understanding purpose we are going to solve this question by using analytical method. So this diagram is not necessary but this is for the understanding purpose and here is the reference plane. Now the distance from reference plane. So what is the distance of A? So from this reference plane there are two directions. So from the left hand side direction values are negative. So here minus 0 0.1. Now for X it is 0. For B, it is towards the right hand side. So we have to consider plus or positive value 0 0.2. Then for C, so from the reference plane 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1, that is 0 0.3. Then for Y, it is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1, that is 0 0.4. And for D, it is total distance is 0 0.6. Now CH, so that is the couple. So we have to find out the horizontal component as well as vertical component of the couple so here ch that is fhl so we have to take multiplication for this column and this column 16 into minus 0 0.1 minus 1.6 then this term into 0 that is 0 then we have to multiply these two terms then here um, 0 0.1 my cos theta y into 0 0.4 so here we will multiply this 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 that is 0 0.04 my cos of theta y now we will move next cv so this is the vertical component of couple that is fv into l so we have to multiply these two columns so here 0 into this unknown term that is 0 so here also 0 0.1 into 0 0.4 that is 0 0.04 my sine of theta y. 
Now next step we have to show summation of f h is equal to 0, summation of f v is equal to 0, summation of c h is equal to 0 and summation of c v is equal to 0 to find the unknown terms. Now if we compare this value for f as well as this couple c then in centrifugal force there are two unknown terms but for this couple there is only one unknown term. So we will first show summation of CH is equal to 0 and summation of CV is equal to 0. So when we show summation of CH is equal to 0 then we have to take the unknown term on the left hand side and we have to move all the known terms to the right hand side. So my cos theta y is equal to 179.4625. Now in the same way summation of CV is equal to 0. So we have to take a known term on the left hand side and we have to transfer the known term to the right hand side. So my sine of theta y is equal to minus 40.795. Now if we compare these two values then this cos value is having positive sign and this sine value is having negative sign. Now we will understand with the help of four quadrants. Now if we consider this first quadrant then here all the values are positive to the right hand side. In the upward direction also values are positive. To the left hand side here the values are negative and in the downward direction values are negative. Now this horizontal line indicates the values for cos theta and vertical line indicates the values for sin theta. Now here sin theta is having negative sign. That means we have to consider this downward side vertical line and cos theta is having positive sign. So we will consider this right hand side. So this theta is in the fourth quadrant. So we have to take this theta that when we find out then that is in the fourth quadrant. Now when we solve this we will take the ratio sin theta y by cos theta y. So this my my is getting cancelled. So when we take the ratio then we will get tan theta y is equal to minus 0 0.2273. So theta y is equal to minus 12.8067. Now it is having minus sign. So we know that all the angles are measured from this horizontal line in anticlockwise direction are positive. So how to measure the negative angles? So when we take the angles from this same line in this clockwise direction then these angles are negative. So from this line if I take that is 360 minus 12. So if I take this then here is the angle that is this is the uh, 360 minus 12 degree. So this angle is 12 degree and here in positive direction we have to measure this angle and that is equal to uh, 3 47 because theta y is equal to minus 12.8067 so 360 minus 12.8067 that is equal to 347.1932 so this is the answer 347.1932 degree now this theta y that we have found out now we will easily find out the value for my that is the mass so my is equal to so my cos of 347.19 is equal to 179.4625 so my is equal to 184.04 kg now we will show summation of fh is equal to 0 so we will add all these terms now here my and theta y is known so we will put value 0 0.1 184.04 into cos of 347.19 and when we add this we have to show e is equal to 0. So we will take unknown terms to the left hand side and known terms to the right hand side. So mx cos theta x is equal to minus 294.7694. Now summation of fv. Now here also we will add all these terms. Now we will put the value of my as well as theta y and we will show is equal to 0. So here unknown term is mx sin theta x. So mx sin theta x is equal to minus 194.1570. 
Now if we compare this then we will take the ratio for sin theta x as well as cos theta x. So this mx mx is getting cancelled. So sin theta x by cos theta x is equal to minus 194.1517 divided by minus 294.7694. So when we take ratio then we will get tan theta x is equal to 0 0.6586 and therefore theta x is equal to 33.3711 degree. Now if we observe this quadrant rule is not applicable for this force. So that is applicable for the couple only. 